Hi, welcome back to Buona Pappa. Today we're going to bake together and we're going to bake pineapple, zucchini, coconut muffins. I really love to incorporate the vegetables in my recipe and I thought that zucchini would be the perfect combination all together with pineapple and coconut for this super moist, super soft and super naturally sweet muffins. Are you ready to bake together? <laughs> Let's start! First thing to do, we're going to preheat the oven at 350 Fahrenheit degrees. Then we're going to grate the zucchini and this time we are not going to squeeze them. We want the extra water to stay in the zucchini and we're going to set them aside. We're also going to prepare the pineapple. I use fresh pineapple, I simply slice it, remove the core, the center that it's hard and simply chopped the tender pulp that is around the slice into small small pieces like this one. In a large bowl whisk together the eggs with the sugar for one two minutes up until you will obtain a pale yellow foamy mix add the vanilla and the coconut oil and mix in a separate bowl combine together the dry ingredients flour baking soda baking powder and salt mix with the fork slowly scoop the dry ingredients into the wet mix and whisk well it's time to add the zucchini and the pineapple. Add also the coconut flakes or shredded coconut. Slowly add them into the batter and mix gently. Line a muffin tin with cupcake liners and fill them for just a bit more than a half. The oven is already preheated at 350 Fahrenheit degrees. We're going to bake our muffins for 20-25 minutes. You can easily check if the muffins are ready in a few ways. You can insert a toothpick in the center and if it comes out dry, it means that the muffins are ready. Or you can look at the top of the muffins. It should be nicely raised and kind of firm at touch. Remove the muffins from the oven and you can remove them from the muffin tin with the liners, it will be easier. And let them cool down completely on the countertop for more or less 10 minutes and then simply enjoy them. The muffins can be stored on the countertop in an airtight container because you want to keep them moist inside for two or three days or if it's hot outside in the summer you can store them in the fridge in an earth can container for three four days or you can even freeze the muffins this is a very good recipe to freeze uh, place them in a ziplog or a freezer container and freeze them for up to three four months to tow the muffins super easy Take the container from the freezer, place it on the countertop and let it tow you know, on the countertop naturally. And if you're using a Ziploc, keep the muffins inside the Ziploc. That's how the muffins will tow and will keep them moist inside. Can I substitute coconut oil? Sometimes it's not easy to find coconut oil. You can substitute coconut oil with any other fat like butter or vegetable oil. I really like to use coconut oil for this recipe because basically it will boost the coconut shred flavor inside the recipe. Can I skip the eggs? Yes, if there are any egg allergy, you can substitute the two eggs with one medium ripe banana and either one tablespoon of chia seeds or one tablespoon of ground flax seeds. Can I make this recipe gluten-free? Yes, you can. I tried with a uh, gluten-free mix of flours and it worked very well. Same quantities. Can I serve this recipe to my baby? Yes, you can. The muffins, they are naturally sweet, very soft and very delicate. So you can simply break them in small pieces, place them in front of your baby and he or she will be happy to enjoy them and grab them. Few tips if you're serving this recipe to your baby. You might want to substitute regular sugar with maple syrup or you might want to skip totally the added sugar and instead of 
about half a cup of regular sugar, you may want to add half a medium ripe banana for a natural sweet as a natural sweetener. I really, really hope you will enjoy this recipe. This is a lovely one. If you're looking for more vegetables at breakfast recipes, check out this playlist either here or in the links here below. Remember to subscribe to Buona Papa because you will receive every week or so <laughs> a new recipe from me. And if you have any comment, please leave them in the area here below. I will do my best to reply as soon as I can. And for now, ciao, ciao, ciao!